What's going on, UNCG? My name is Jasmine Green, and we are here with two very, very, very important people today. We have Tommy O'Connell, who is the UNCG College Democrat President. And we have Jamal Fox, who is the Young Democrats of Guilford County President. So how are you guys doing today? Doing very well. Good, doing good. Great. So um, just tell me a little bit about yourselves. You go first. Uh, so I'm, uh, my name is Tommy O'Connell. I'm uh, President of UNCG College Democrats. Um, and uh, I've been involved with that organization since I was a freshman. Okay. Um, it, while I've, I've been in the club, I've been office manager, secretary, I'm now mm -hmm. president. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, um, hope, we're hoping to have a great uh, semester this year and uh, particularly with the election coming up. Okay, and so, so why did you run for president of uh, College Democrats at UNCG? Well, what happened actually was that our former president stepped down oh, and okay. I was vice president at the time during the summer, yeah. so I stepped in. Okay. Um, so it was a little bit of a surprise to me, yeah. but uh, yeah, but um, I, I've loved doing it so far and uh, organizing club and recruiting new members and getting right. people involved in progressive right. politics. Right, and, and that's very important. I mean, college students these days have to be informed about politics, so kudos to you, kudos to you. And uh, tell us about yourself, Mr. Jamal Fox. Well, of course, you know, I, I reign from Fraysburg, Virginia, a okay. small little town in Northern Virginia. Uh, I've been in Greensboro for about 12 years now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, a long time, uh, as of August. Uh, but one thing that really intrigued me is this area. Uh, mm -hmm. It's built real rich, the, the culture, the history, and it's something that I want to be a part of. Right, right. Uh, but I've been a part of the Young Democrats Guild County for about 10 years now. Oh, wow. Um, I was the treasurer on last year's board. Uh, before that, I've done a lot of different things in the community, okay. uh, from mentoring students uh, to doing some teaching assignments on college campuses through doing a lot of grassroots, getting right. out, knocking on doors, <laughs> campaigning. Um, it's, it's, it's what we do. Right. Um, and I'm really invested in this area because it's people like uh, UNCG, College Democrats, mm -hmm. um, A&T, Bennett, uh, Guilford College. We have a lot mm -hmm. of colleges and universities here. Um, and I wanted to be a part of that. So that's why I really uh, came on board um, and worked with the organization. And now you are president. Look at that. Look at that. So. <laughs> Why are you so active with the College Democrats on campus? Well, for me, it's about what I believe in. Okay. Uh, you know, I believe in equality. Um, I believe in uh, social justice. Uh, I believe in um, human rights. Mm -hmm. And to me, the Democratic Party best represents what I believe. Um, investing in things like uh, you know, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the great safety net that was created during the New Deal and the great mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. I believe in strengthening that, um, supporting civil rights. Um, like Jamal said, we have a great history of, uh, of the civil rights movement here in Greensboro with the Greensboro Four, of course, and oh, yeah. yeah, and there are families in this uh, in the yeah. city who are um, who have been involved with the civil rights movement since you know 1963, right. 1964. So to me, it's it's about strengthening that legacy. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, uh, one of the things that now is coming up in the civil uh, another branch of the civil rights movement is the LGBTQ, uh, LG, mm -hmm. LGBTQ mm -hmm. um, rights movement. And for me, I have two gay moms, so that's extremely important to me, um, really that's, advancing that. That is, I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that, because not a lot of people focus on that. So that that's mm -hmm. very good. I'm so glad you said that. Um, so why are you so active with the Young Democrats of Guilford County? Well, I'm, I'm active for a lot of, of reasons. Of course, you're the president, <laughs> so of course. You know, but uh, you know, I have the liberty of meeting a lot of people um, as far as all over this county and all mm -hmm. over this state. But one thing that really amazes me is, is people's energy that they bring. Um, and looking at my own history and my values that I grew up with, um, I stem from a family, uh, my grandfather was one of 26 children. Um, they all served in the Army, uh, Air Force, uh -huh. uh, real military life. My, mar my mom is an Army veteran. Oh, um, wow. And she taught me certain values that still stick with me today. And, and one of the biggest values is doing something for others and not looking yeah. for something in return. And so that is a value that uh, I, I stick with each and every day. Mm -hmm. And as I look around this county, we have a lot of issues going on, a lot of ills in this community uh, that need to be addressed, mm -hmm. that is not being addressed, I think, or have uh, the young voice um, being heard. We're, we're not acknowledged mm -hmm. um, throughout this county. And, and you can tell when you drive around and you see a lot of homeless people. Definitely. Um, when you see a lot of people that are dying uh, for men uh, mental diseases and things of that sort because we cut funding and we're not funding mm -hmm. them and 
Uh, it's, it's a lot of things that uh, really stick with me. And then when you talk about uh, equal pay for equal jobs with women, um, seducing the actually uh, the voice, the vote, uh, voter suppression bills throughout the United States. And when you see things like that going on, uh, why won't you be active? Right. You know, what would you do for your, right. your brother and sister? And, and we're supposed to be our, our brother and sister's keepers. And mm -hmm. those are certain things that really stick true to me with my values. And that's why I'm so active because I want to see Guilford County, not only the best county in, in this state, but all over. I want to see the United States move further from where we are today and continue to bring prosperity and opportunities for not only this generation, this generation, but the next generation. Because it's, you know, when I look at my nieces and nephews, I think about how their lives are gonna get mm -hmm. impacted. I think about what's gonna happen when uh, more tuition increases. Yes. Um, you know, when Pell Grants decrease and, and right. we, they don't have social security for us when we get older That's and true. things of that sort. So when you think about that as a whole and you kind of mold that into where we are today, you know, that really makes you want to get united and stand on the front for what you truly believe in. Mm -hmm. And if you have any bone in your body, um, you would get involved. Yeah. You, you would do something. And so that's why I'm so involved in this county. That is, and we need people like you guys. We need people like you guys in this county, I'm telling you guys. Okay, so I heard you mention energy um, in the beginning of your statement just now. I know it takes so much energy for you guys to put on these, you know, interviews and go out there and get the word out there. So where do you get the energy from? Because I personally don't know if I could even do that. So where, where does the motivation and the energy come from when it comes to pr promoting this? Um, for me, it's, it's, let me put it this way. Last, um, last semester during uh, the Amendment 1 fight, I was Every day I woke up and I fought against that. Mm. Pretty much, besides when I was in class or studying, that that was that that was the time I was dedicating yeah. every minute of every day. Mm -hmm. I woke up and I was doing that for my mom, to my sisters, so that my sisters wouldn't have to go to school and say um, my family mm -hmm. is inferior. They wouldn't have to feel that when they Definitely. went to school. Um, this semester I'm doing it because. You know, the Democratic Party came out in favor of marriage equality. Mm -hmm. That is a huge yeah. step in the right direction. Definitely, definitely. I'm doing it because I know people, I have family members who are unemployed. And we're not going to get back to full employment by going back to where we were. That's, you know, deregulation and, um, uh, you know, dereg uh, deregulation and cutting government spending. Mm -hmm. That's not going to solve the problems right. in, the long, in the long run. We have to invest in people. Right. And we have to invest in that, like I said, in that social that social safety net that was built during the New Deal. Mm -hmm. And we have to invest in public works projects, getting people back to work, getting them in the job, mm -hmm. the dignity of a job. That's I get up and I get my energy from that, thinking about those people, thinking about those those people who have been left behind, the people right. we consider losers in this society. Right. Those are the people I get up because I've been given second chances in my life a lot. Yeah. And I believe in second Haven chances. We Haven't yes. we all? Yes. Yeah. And everyone deserves a second right. chance, whether it be that homeless person in Guilford County or that kid trying to go back to school or that you know, young adult who's trying to go back to school and better his life. Definitely. We need to invest in those people. Um, and a lot of caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, that's true. Yeah. It seems your, na your energy seems so natural. So that's how I can tell you're just so devoted and dedicated to it. I love it. So where do you get your energy from, Mr. Young <laughs> Democrat of Guilford County President? Uh, you know, I, I spend my energy from a lot. You know, Tommy spoke on a lot just now. And a lot of my energy comes from uh, our college presidents throughout this county on each campus. Like Mr. Tommy Like right Tommy. Here. You know, Tommy Good fires me up. Because when I see folks out there working, and they're working for a cause, they're working for something they truly believe in, that motivates me to be the best president I could be right. in this county and in the state. Because I truly believe if we can roll our sleeves up and we can work alongside each other, we can create a better future for everyone. Right. Not just political uh, politics and, uh, and partisan politics, but everyone, everyone. across the sphere. Right. And so that's where I get my energy from. And when I get out into the com community and I see folks like the homeless person on the side of the street. They didn't get there uh, uh, you know, by, any, by any means other than they lost their job or something like that, lost yes. their house. Um, or the other day I was, in I was in Taco Bell and I spoke to a young woman and she worked in biotech. And she went for a job and she walked out 
jobless. She walked out and they said that she was overqualified and she couldn't get the job. And so my energy comes from people like that. Or I had a friend I played basketball, basketball with in middle school and he was a good friend of mine. He died of cancer. Uh, my grandmother, um, she died back in 2007 not having adequate health care at the time. My energy comes from that. And more importantly, uh, my support system, my mother, uh, uh -huh. my friends, people like Tommy, uh -huh. uh, people that I meet, my mentors, they push me so much to be the best that I can be. But there's no better person that pushes me more than God. You know, I always sit That's there, I have to pray and make sure that what I'm doing is really gonna make a difference and it's what I can help people do right. and I'm not working for myself. So my energy stems from a lot other than Pepsi. Um, I, you know, I, I gotta have a Pepsi a day uh, to, to keep going <laughs> because caffeine. truly th this work that we do is, is truly remarkable and somebody has to do it. And that somebody or people like Tommy and myself and others uh, because we truly believe that uh, a great nation, a better nation, built from the middle class out, where everybody can come from the same rules yeah. and it's fair, mm -hmm. where you can live, you can work, you can play and invest in your community. Uh -huh. Too long we've came from a community where we just live in a community and not be a part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing in this state that we must truly become part of the community and not just live in the community because there's a difference. There's a big, big, big difference because there are a lot that we can, you know, give to our communities as well. I mean, you guys are giving us tons of things for our community, but there's a lot that we could give to our community as well. So I'm glad you said that. And you guys have been pointing out a lot of key issues as far as the election and all that stuff. So what are three or four nationally or local issues that you are just passionate about that you want everybody to know about, that you want to get out there? Three or four. Uh, so, number one, I think for the country is I think we desperately need much tougher financial reform, okay. particularly in the financial markets. Um, we have a there's a 700 trillion dollar um, derivatives market that has gone unregulated, um, that is ready to blow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we thought the financial crisis in 2008 was bad with the fall of Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns and Bear Stearns and other major banks. This is going to get a, this. This will be a lot worse um, if something isn't done about it. Um, the big, the, the banks that were too big to fail are still, are even bigger. Um, there are only a couple major investment banks left. Um, they need to. I think they need to be. Um, personally, I think they need to be nationalized, broken off, and then set, sold back into the market. Um, I think the reason why the Obama administration hasn't been able to do that yet um, is because the economy has been so weak, and it would um, cause a lot of tor uh, turmoil in the markets mm. and. Pr uh, possibly lead to higher um, unemployment. Right. So once I think, so that, and I think we need to focus like a laser on getting jobs back to the United States. Um, really giving companies incentives to, to bring back uh, jobs back mm -hmm. here, to invest in our communities, um, and to make them feel part of the community. Right, right. Um, we really gotta focus on that unemployment crisis, bring that down. Because really any other, all these other major issues that we wanna deal with aren't gonna be dealt with until we handle the mm -hmm. jobs crisis. Uh, Number three, as far as uh, state politics goes, uh, voter ID is very important to mm -hmm. me. I do yeah, not want to, yeah, I do not want to see voter ID passed in this state. Um, the right to vote has been fought. Um, it was we have to remember it was fought uh -huh. in the South. People mm -hmm. fought here. People died in the streets. You know, literally. children, literally, literally. children. You know, children. You know, f were like four <laughs> feet. Babies <laughs> were hosed. I mean, right. hosed down the street by people like Bull Connor. We really got to. We've got to realize that that was a that was a struggle that took you know decades, and we can't just let it go all the way Definitely with the signing of a bill. Definitely so for me, those are the three most important ones. Definitely, those are very 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 good points. What about you? You know, Tommy brought up a lot of great points. <laughs> he did a lot, of great points. a lot of great points. And you know, I share the same reservations of uh, different topics. But what I'm looking at is is not only um, you know when you talk about people's voice, you mm -hmm. know when you have suppression bills like the voter ID. Um, I'm always looking at things that sort where we're not uh, taking the voice from the people. I'm looking at education oh, um, because right now I, I'm seeing Pell Grants decrease over the last decade, um, you know, this year more than any other year. I'm looking at tuition that, you know, increased heavily on many campuses um, on, on the backs of people that work hard and do what is expected of them, Definitely. but they still can't afford to go to college. 
Uh, so education is a big thing with me. Uh -huh. And then sustainability. You know, we must be a more sustainable country, state, and county, right. uh, making sure that we have renewed resources and we can reuse it and we're saving money for all people all over this world. Then I'm also looking at infrastructure, economy and jobs. Okay. I group all those together because you need the infrastructure so you be able to bring those businesses in, you be able to bring uh, 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 educated workforce in to have those jobs, but you gotta educate them. So that's where the education piece comes from and so those are the main issues to me other than making sure also that social issues like women Women oh, yes. too long have always took the back seat uh, when it comes to organizations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, men, we, we held the reign for years. And now I'm seeing an influx of women stepping up and getting in the leadership roles and doing a great job. Well, guess what? Those women need to be compensated at the same price equally to men. Um, and, and of course, people debate that, but mm -hmm. that's my stance. I believe in women because it's women, how I'm here, <laughs> and most men are, are I mean, here I'm as well. Here from so, women. <laughs> for women. So, you know, women are, are the top crop, and women get out and vote more than men. Um, and women are the ones who educate a lot of us to do what we're doing, and that's where a lot of the energy comes from. So, making sure that uh, we're treating all people the same will be another issue as well, other than health care. Mm. That's, a, that's definitely a big. Well, how do you feel about health care? How do you feel about health care? Um, I think that, you know, I'm, I'm the supporter of the Affordable Care Act. Um, I think it was a great, a good piece of legislation. Obviously, nothing is perfect, but it gave us a lot of great, um, a lot of great mechanisms to try to bring costs, health care costs down in this country. Um, and it, you know, it expanded um, Medicaid and gave subsidies mm -hmm. to a lot of people so they now can afford to buy health insurance. Um, 30 million people are going to be able to have health insurance by uh, 2014, which mm -hmm. is incredible. Um, obviously, it's not perfect. Uh, I would much rather have Hopefully. a single a single payer national health care plan, um, and that's I think that's the, the way we're moving. I think uh, okay. the Affordable Health Care Act is a good step in the right direction. Right, right, and and you basically agree with him, right? I I I, I agree with Tommy uh, because when you look at 30 some million people will be able to have health care. Mm -hmm. You look at college students. You know, will be able to stay on their parents' insurance to the 26. That's, That's true. huge, because you look at you look at colleges and the percentage. Most people drop out. Most people stop going because it gets too encumbersome mm -hmm. and costs too much. And too so, much. they're they wind up on the streets working three or four jobs, don't have adequate health care um, under the age of 26. And so now they'll have that insurance. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Um, and so single payer uh, system, I agree with that uh, when Tommy talked about that. Everything's not perfect, but what it did give us, it gave us a foundation to work uh -huh. from, you know, something that we didn't have. That's it true. gave us a, a platform that way we can continue to groom that, something that hasn't happened since FDR. And so a lot of things, history repeats itself. And so I'm pretty sure in the next coming years, we're gonna be talking about the Affordable mm -hmm. Health Care Act. And one thing I will say, it's not the Obamacare. It's Affordable Health Care Act. Yeah. There is a difference. What's the difference for the people who might not know? The difference is everything is included in that act. Okay. okay. Yes, President Obama is under his administration, and we always like to title things under certain people pushing things. Okay. But when it was titled, it was titled the Affordable Health Care Act. It's not in the General Assembly saying the Obamacare Act. Uh -huh. It didn't say that. Okay. There, there's a difference. And so a lot of people like the title because uh -huh. it's Obama Very true. and it should be President Obama because, you know, as okay. American people, we have to give respect where respect is due. And that man paid his dues. Right. And so we need to make sure that we title it correctly. Right. See, I just learned something new. I didn't even know that. So <laughs> thank you for that. OK, so you guys hold very, very big positions in our community. So what have you accomplished? Because, I mean, you've been doing it for, what, 10 years? You are a college president for Democrats. I mean, I know you've had to accomplish many things. So what have you accomplished so far? Um, well, start off, uh, I mean, about a year ago, I became secretary of the club. Um, and we were kind of, we, the club was a little bit in shambles. And we really, we really rebuilt it. Right. And um, went out there, talked to students, just walking by. We'd, like, hey, you're interested in college Democrats. I mean, we recruited people like crazy. Yeah. It was, um, it was amazing. And we had some, uh, Kaylin Rivera, who was president, what did a fantastic job. And um, 
Uh, we really we went out, we registered voters, we fought hard against Amendment 1. Um, I was part of an organization called the We Are Campaign, and college Democrats mm -hmm. were, um, had signed on to our uh, uh, list of principles along with other businesses and nonprofits. Um, you know, College Dems, we've been um, basically working a lot with the local, uh, you know, local and state party, um, uh, basically getting in contact with them. Uh, we've been doing a lot of charitable work in the community. Um, so really giving, really I, what I see it as is that yes, we're a, a political group, mm -hmm. but if you don't give back to your community, I don't care right. what kind of group you are. You gotta give back to the community. You gotta, you gotta give back to, the, to, the, um, to those who are um, less fortunate than you yourself. Have to. Absolutely. You have to. Cause what, I mean, what difference in society will you make if you don't, you know what I mean? So. Exactly. And That's um, true. yeah. And uh, since I became president, I mean, we've been doing voter registration pretty much every day. We've mm. been doing it in the Elliott University yep, Center. Yep, yep, in the library. I see you guys all in the time. In the library, yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. And uh, we've also been doing it in the atrium. I've been, I, you know, there'll be freshmen standing yeah. in line ready to get some food, and I'm registering them, being like, you registered to vote? Yeah. And they're like, see, yeah. those freshmen, those are the most important. Because not the ones many you of go them to. might not be enlightened on this, you know, kind of stuff. You yeah. Know, not yeah. many people think to, you know, study politics and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that's a very good, very good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so what have you accomplished so far since you've been <laughs> Well, president? you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I have a big, big role and responsibility. Um, you know, we have seven college and universities in this county. Uh -huh. And so my role responsibility is making sure that presidents like Tommy across mm -hmm. this county have the resources that they need to be effective and efficient on their campus and making sure that we all are working together under one unit uh, for one common goal is to make sure that we have informed voters and that they're registered to vote and get out there and vote. Uh -huh. um, and so Definitely. a lot of things that we've done is canvas communities. Um, this year, the first time we partnered with Urban Ministries and we went oh. and um, we collected canned goods. We had a service day um, a few months ago and on that service day we collected over 500 cans. Um, wow. 500 pounds of cans for Urban Ministries and we served over 500 people at Urban Ministries and so this year my, my president motto this year is making a difference service above self and that truly means what it is you know you want to give service in the community um, and it's not like you know I did this for you so now you got to do something for me no right. you know giving back that that right. is what public service is service to others and so that is kind of our creed and our motto in the county. And then other things is we had the DNC this year. Fantastic, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, <laughs> definitely, great. definitely. You know, it's, it's a great thing for the state so we can be seen the way we are. But one thing I'm prouder than anything, we had the most young Democrats go to the DNC as delegates than any other county in this state. Really? Yes, yes. I didn't even know that, that's uh, cool. We, we have that worked hard, cool. we've worked hard um, and I'm proud of those folks. Uh, I'm proud of those folks because a lot of them, this is the first time around, never right. done it before. Um, and it helped them get out because they had to campaign. Um, this isn't nothing running to be a delegate, it's nothing given. You actually got to campaign, right. you got to talk to folks. And so they got their first smidget of campaigning. Right. Um, and they did a great job. And then you look at our county, we have been so active. We've been almost everywhere. Right. We've registered voters, we're talking to folks. Because one thing that I always push is, I'm not gonna tell you how to vote, I'm just gonna make sure you're informed to vote. Uh -huh. And there's a difference. Um, and so doing certain things like that, that has really helped us uh, across the county. And working with OFA, one of our good partners. Um, the Obama campaign has really, really um, helped tremendously because we, we got to tear up certain jurisdictions uh -huh. and work together. If okay. they're in the rural areas, then we'll be in the urban and vice versa. Right. And so it has really, truly been, been a, a great time. I'm, I'm truly honored to be the president because we've done things of that um, I've never seen happen in this county. Uh, I truly believe that we're the best chapter in this state. <laughs> and that was one of the reasons why I ran for office. I said, when I ran for office, I said, I wanted to increase our membership. Right. I wanted to make sure we sustain our membership and put on events. And the third thing is make sure we become the best chapter in this state. Right. And, and I'm telling you right now, within five months in, truly, we're the best chapter in the state. Um, but also what I told our folks was that as president, I want to be able to, uh, to grow you, not only uh, um, professionally, 
um, but politically. Mm -hmm. And part of doing that, it, it is important. It's important because it's not just like Tommy said, just because we're political organization does not mean that giving back is something that we shouldn't do. It's something that we're going to do have and that to. we have to do and we're going to continue to do because this is our creed, because this is our footprint into the world. And this is our voice. And so that is what I'm proud of as president. Oh, man, you guys are just some, oh, I, I just want to be like you guys when I grow up. Like, y'all are my idols for real. <laughs> um, so you guys have big dreams, big visions for um, not only just your organizations, but just Democrats in general. So where do you guys see yourselves in the next few years? Uh, myself personally? Yeah. Um, and, and also um, the College Democrats or the UNCG as well. Absolutely. Uh, for College Democrats at UNCG, um, I mostly want to get us to a point where we're really very much involved in the community, where we're coordinate, coordinating with people like Jamal mm -hmm. and the Young Democrats of Guilford County, um, helping to build uh, other chapters on college campuses, uh, really reaching out to anyone who wants to build a chapter. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to see us. Um, I want to see us doing uh, voter registration every semester, um, not just when an election comes up. I want to make sure that freshmen all come time. in all the time. When freshmen are coming in here in the spring, I want to make sure they're registered to vote right away. Mm -hmm. um, doing things like dorm storms, being, uh, having tables in the EUC, in the atrium. Um, I want to see us uh, bringing more people on campus for lectures, people who, and not, it's, you know, state and local mm -hmm. politicians, but also people in the community, uh, people from uh, you know, Triad Jobs for Justice. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, bringing bringing more people who are uh, can give educational topics on things like foreign policy, uh, financial reform, healthcare reform, uh, educate really educating the student populace on political on progressive uh, politics. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to see us. I, I want to see us doing more fun things too. I want to see us doing uh, more social trips as well. Really getting really making people feel like they're part of a community, yeah. part of a club, and. Um, that even though it's yeah it's a, po right. a politically oriented club, but you can still have fun too. You can still have fun. We're still college kids. I still, mean, come yeah, on. exactly. Well, come on. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I want to see us giving more. And I, I want to see us doing even more for the community. Um, doing right. things like with urban ministries, um, doing stuff with environmental organizations. Um, helping to better our environment. Um, we're about to do uh, something called Adopt a Highway, where oh, we go Adopt out. Highway. Yeah, absolutely. Where we go out and we clean up a street uh, once a month. Um, as far as myself personally. Um, yes. You know, um, my life has taught me that things change a lot, um, and that it's really unexpected. And um, and uh, but you know, what I would love to see myself as you know is getting my master's in uh, public administration okay. um, in the next couple of years, um, going into uh, maybe urban planning and um, also doing some field organizing work, particularly on uh, issue issue campaigns, okay. as well as um, working with some state and local candidates. Big dreams, big dreams. Yeah. What about you? Well, for me, for the county, I, I have yeah. a greater vision. Um, you know, one thing, because Tommy sits on uh, the Young Democrats board as our membership director. Mm -hmm. And one thing that Tommy, you know, he can tell anybody, mm -hmm. I'm a big dreamer. I'm a big visionary. And I see things beforehand. But one thing that, you know, when I said growing people politically or professionally, right. uh, something that I look at doing in the next coming year is I want to have workshops. And I want to have workshops oh, on yeah. how, to, how to balance your budget, how to balance your finances. Um, what does it mean to campaign? Um, and what does it mean how to get a job? You know, how to create a good resume. Mm -hmm. Not many people, especially the resume, college kids, not many people know yeah. how to do that. So, so that, that, those, right. those type of workshops um, are things that I have in the works. And not only that is I'm creating something in my vision where we have trips to D.C and where we can connect with you know, people from D.C. because mm. since I'm from Northern Virginia, I have a lot of connections. And I want to be able to, a weekend, I can say, all right, guys, we're taking a trip to D.C. Mm. Um, so I want to do a little bit more traveling. I want to be able to have money where I can send our folks to different uh, seminars across the state, across the nation. Um, because truly, run it, when you're in politics, you must grow. You need continuously to grow each and every day. And so I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can mm -hmm. to make sure everybody grows under my leadership. Um, and that's how we sustain ourselves and become a better chapter. Right. But also not only that is I truly have a vision to connect this county with Forsyth County and make us a stronger region. Okay. 
because I truly believe when you bring in resources and you work together on a front, um, that really helps you in the long run. Right. It really sustains both counties and it makes us stronger. Right. So when we stand on issues, we stand together. Have a team behind us. Yes. You know, and you know, it, it goes back to they said, you know, when you stand together, you stand united mm -hmm. as one, as one nation. And so what I'm looking to do is to be one nation, one body with Forsyth County and other counties. Yeah. Uh, and part of that is really networking. And I want to put on some events in our county where we do a lot of networking. And we put on things when it's talking about sustainability and environment. I want to be able to have uh, a green campaign. I want to be able to say, young Democrats, college Democrats, this is our campaign for the year. We want to make sure that people are recycling. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we become more sustainable and that we're pushing folks and politicians to make sure that they're making the right decisions for us. And so part of that is going to have politicians coming in and speaking to us and teaching us along how do we get where they are. A lot of times, you know, you can have people come and talk to you, but really don't create that vision and, and, and show you how you can get there. They, they tell you once you get there, this is what you do, yeah. but don't create that vehicle for you to get there. Right. Now, as it relates to me, um, I have my master's now. I'm working on my PhD. Okay. And what I'm looking to do is to have everybody else the same. I want to be able to have every county chapter in, the, in this county uh, to have them voting 100% mm -hmm. and make sure they continue in their education. I want them to be doctors. I don't care what it is. It's right. medical doctors, <laughs> you know, whatever, professors. Wh whatever. I, professors mean, I want to make sure that they're reaching their goals and their vision. Really and when they do that, that makes me a better man. It makes me better. It makes me feel better. Um, I, do, I do plan on going into politics because okay. um, I truly believe that our voice is so suppressed that the only time that people want to hear from the young people mm -hmm. is election time. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to create a network in our county and throughout our state that says, look, you know, we're here. We're not going nowhere. All the time. All the time. <laughs> and the thing is, we, di we dictate how elections can go because we have the, we have the votes. You know, if we right. voice our opinion and do our constitutional right and vote, right. we can win any election. And so for me, that's what I'm looking at in my vision. Big, big, big things happening with you guys. Cool. So before we wrap this up, um, tell everybody how they can become a part of either the College Democrats or um, the Young Democrats of Guilford County. Just let everybody know how they can become a part of the chapter. Absolutely. If you're interested in getting involved in UNCG College Democrats, uh, you can look us up on Facebook at UNCG College Democrats. Um, you can also look us up on Twitter at UNCG College Dems. Um, you can also go on to Community um, and look us up there. You'll see our meeting time, uh, day and place. Um, we'll also be meeting tomorrow at 8, p at 8 o'clock in the Azalea Room, um, and I hope to see everyone there. Well, for me, it's, it's a little different. In the county, uh, what, what I like to tell folks is if you're fired up, if you've got the passion and you've got the mobility to get out and do something greater than thee, then I ask everybody to give us a call at 336-275-0601. And also visit us on Facebook at Young Democrats of Guilford County, and also on Twitter at Guilford YDs, because it's people like you and me that's going to make the difference in every election. We ended that on a great note, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for Thanks coming. For it's thank you. nice to meet you guys. You guys are just doing great things, and I cannot wait to see everything happening. Okay, um, so we are going to wrap this up. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and vote. Register to vote. If you're not registered, Definitely register. You have to vote. This is important, okay? See you later.